So when index is called composite, if index created on multiple columns, if index created on multiple columns, then it is called composite index. Okay. <clears throat> so if you create index on multiple columns, then it is composite index. So, example, create index I2 on EMP brackets department number comma job. Okay, create index I2 on EMP <coughs> department number comma job. So, this is created on two columns. So, what is this index is called composite. The previous one created on salary. So, this index is called simple and this is composite okay then <clears throat> now <clears throat> Example, suppose here, okay, uh, is it, this is the table, this is the actual table, actual table, so in the table, what is there, employee, actual table, it's not index, table, so first employee working for 20th is working as clerk, next employee working for 30th is what, salesman. Next employee is working for 10th is manager. Next employee is working for 20 analyst. Next uh, is working for 30 <coughs> salesman. Okay, then <coughs> next. Another one working for 10 is working as clerk. Next working for 20 working as clerk. Working for 30 is working as salesman or clerk, something like this. So total, I have taken what? Eight, eight rows. Okay, this is an actual table. You created what index? You created index on department member comma job. <clears throat> then, so then it will be like this. So like uh, suppose here then 20, Left side of 20, 10. Left side of 10, clerk, 10, manager. Right side of 10, right side of 10, 20, clerk, star, comma, star. Here also 10, clerk, star. Okay, 10, clerk, star. 10, manager, star. Star means address 20 okay then so first it will show analyst next 20 clerk how many clerks are there 20 two this is one clerk this is another clerk so that's why it contains how many addresses two addresses next one 20 next one what right side of 20 let's say 30 Okay, 30 left side, 30th what? 30th clerk, one star. And 30th what? Salesman, how many? One, two, three, two, two stars. There are two employees belongs to 30th salesman. So this is the index. After executing this command, index is created like this. So when it is a composite, index here always 
root and intermediate nodes are based on department number leaf nodes contains department number and job if it is a composite index okay na leaf sorry root and intermediate nodes are based on department number and leaf nodes contains what department number and job okay so that means root and intermediate nodes are based on the first column of index what is the first column of index what is the first column of index department number okay then root and intermediate nodes are based on first column of the index the first column of the index is department number okay then so that's how this is created ah uh, now for example i submit a query select star from emp where what department number equals to 20 i submit this query to sql so then it take this it takes it goes to this index index is there now it will go to the index it go to the index 20 20 is compared go to left side equal or less than go to left side greater than go to right side it go to left side 10 10 20 is compared go to right side this is selected this is selected it take this addresses and go to the table with the records from the table from index it take this addresses and go to table and go to that address select the records from that address okay then so if it is this where department number equals to 20 okay na now now suppose for example i write like this select star from emp where department number equals to 20 job equals to clerk department number equals to 20 job equals to clerk now also it uses index it will go to the index it go to this index here it takes 20 20 20 is compared go to left side 10 20 is compared go to right side this is 20 analyst not selected this is 20 clerk selected so take this two addresses and go to the address and fetch the records from that address okay for this query it will use what for this query it will use what index for this query also it will use what index index scan okay for this query also it will use index scan suppose i submit a query like this select a star from okay select star select star from emp where job equals to clerk select star from emp where job equals to clerk so when you run this query then select star from emp where job equals to clerk now uh, when you run this query then <clears throat> now so job equals to clerk so what is the given value clerk okay na given value is clerk now now for this for this query it it will not use this index okay na because you are asking for clerk records <coughs> you are asking for clerk so then to get the clerk records actually to get the records from the table it needs addresses where the addresses are stored addresses are there in the leaf nodes addresses are there in what leaf nodes but it cannot directly go to leaf node it go to the leaf nodes through root node and intermediate nodes but to go to the leaf nodes what is required department number is required but given value is what job by using the job it cannot reach to the leaf nodes by using the job it cannot reach to the leaf nodes so that way it will not use index it will use what table scan it will use table table scan that's all so after creating this composite index then index structure is created like this and uh, so this query will take the advantage of index this query will take the advantage of index so both queries these two queries will take the advantage of index okay 
then. <clears throat> so when SQL Server use the index, it use the index when where condition is based on leading column of the index. What is the leading column? Leading column means first column. What the first column is department number. Okay, then. <clears throat> now, so then SQL Server uses above index when where condition based on leading column of the index that is department number <clears> hey <throat> <Okay>. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay, we'll see that one second. <clears throat> So if this is the query, it will use index. If this is the query, it will use index. But this query it will not use index. Why? Because so by using the jump, it cannot reach to the leaf nodes. Addresses are there in the leaf nodes. But to reach to the leaf nodes, what it requires is department number. Because root and intermediate nodes are based on department number. So that's why. It uses a sub index when where condition based on leading column of the index that is department number. Okay, then. <clears throat> Okay. <clears throat> now, how you decide <clears throat> whether you create simple index or composite index? Or how you decide? Hmm? How you decide? Okay, na. Simple index or composite index or by row now and that's what how you decide whether i create indexes okay na? so just uh, create index on single column or create index on multiple columns huh? how you, you decide that? so like one second user is coming with these two queries okay na? these two queries he is coming with two queries is saying that these two queries are running slow. These two queries are running slow. One is based on <coughs> based on 
department member. Another one based on department member and job. One based on only department. Another one based on department member and job. I want to improve the performance of these two queries. The best option is composite index. If you create index and only department number, say suppose you index, create index and only department number. If you create index and only department number, so this query will get the advantage of index, but this query will not get the advantage of index. If you create index only on department number, this query will take the advantage of index, but this query will not take. This query performance is improved, but this query performance is not improved. Understood? If I create index on department number, comma job, then both queries will take the advantage of index. You understood the point? Okay, now, nah? if you create index only on department number, then, no, if you create index only on department number, then first query will benefit. The first query will benefit from index, but not second query. Okay, nah? because your search is based on department and job. Okay, nah? so if you create index on both department number, comma job, composite index, then both queries will take the benefit of index. Both queries will take the advantage of index. That's all. You have to decide based on this. Understood, na? Okay, whether singular, composite, or <coughs> okay, na? Nah. <clears throat> next so next one what the next one is unique index unique index <clears throat> unique index unique index does not allow duplicate values into the column on which index is created okay <clears throat> unique index does not allow duplicate values into the column on which index is created Unique index does not allow duplicate values into the column on which index is created. Okay, then so in whichever the column you create unique index in the, into that column, duplicates are not allowed. Duplicates are not allowed. <coughs> then so just example, like just example testing. Yeah. <coughs> so then. Uh, <clears throat> now let's see what create what unique index said so if you want to create unique index you have to use this keyword unique if you don't use this keyword then it allows duplicates index allows duplicates you see that in this example how many 20th clicks are there two that means duplicates are allowed or not yes you see the previous first one. How many salary? How many employees with salary? 3002. Okay, so duplicates are allowed. Normal index allows duplicates, but unique index does not allow duplicates. So if you want to create unique index, we use this keyword unique. Okay, create unique index i3 on EMP e name. Okay, na? so I'm creating index on e name. But this example, but we don't create uh, index, unique index on e name because names can be duplicated, yes or no? <clears throat> this example. <clears throat> yeah. So, <clears throat> when you create unique index on e name, uh, what happens internally? Every whenever you execute this command, internally B3 is created. A tree structure is created. Something I am taking something like this K. Okay, na? left side of K. <clears throat> something suppose G. Left side of G Adams. 
Sir Ellen Star Blake Star Okay na so the character that comes what before k g the character the names that comes before g adam selen blake like this alphabetical order okay na then right side of g right side of g then <coughs> then <coughs> uh, like something so what is james star jones star something now right side of k then okay q just i am taking q like martin star <coughs> miller star right side of q right side of q like smith scott star smith star something i am just taking like this Okay, na then <coughs> clear. Now, just I am taking an example. So it is based on what? If it is numbers, left side, right side is what? Left side, right side, less than or greater than, based on that. But it is alphabet strings. Then what? Alphabetical order. So the character that comes before K will be left side. the character that comes after k right side okay then <clears throat> now so then this is what like tree created after executing this now so i run a query what is that is select sar from emp where e name equals to blake e name equals to blake Select sir from EMP where E name equals to Blake. When you run this query to, when you submit this query, then so it takes any index is there on E name? Yes, there is index on E name. So it go to this index. What is the given value? Blake B compared with what K? Then go to left side. Blake is compared with G. Then go to left side. B is less than G. Now go to left side. Then go to this one. Blake. Blake is there or not? Yes. Take this address and fetch the records from the table. Take this address. Go to table. Fetch the record. Okay, na? So this is. But what is this index? Is this index is what unique index? Unique index does not tell you duplicates. For example, what is my query? Is <clears throat> I'm inserting a new record. Insert into EMP, EMP, and mo. Suppose salary values, some number, some name. Name is Blake. Salary is something four thousand like this. I am inserting a new record. <coughs> then, when you insert the new record, then so you are inserting Blake. Every record inserted into table, it is also inserted into index. Every new record inserted into table, <coughs> it is also inserted into. <coughs> index <clears throat> even in textbook if a new topic is added to the textbook the topic will be there in the index or not <clears throat> it also same now let's see suppose here you are inserting a new row what that is blake so first uh, it will try to insert this into index blake where is blake is inserted table table and index also so it is trying to index it is trying to insert in index okay na so it go to this one k k compared with what blake is compared with k go to left side blake is compared with g go to left side <clears throat> blake but blake is already there so you are trying to insert what duplicate but what this index is unique index then this command gives what error unique index does not tell duplicates so So this gives error.
Okay, yeah, now, no. so why, why this inside command gives error? <coughs> because you are, you are inserting a record, Blake. Okay, now, Blake is already there in index. But what this index is, this index is what unique index. Unique index does not allow duplicates, but you are trying to insert duplicate. So that's why, so index does not allow, in table also you cannot insert. Can every record insert into table must be there in the index also. Okay, then. So it's not allowed. Then if you want to test, you can test. So let me create. Create this. <clears throat> so index created. Okay, na? index is created. Uh, next, so after creating this index, uh, now what? Insert, insert the row. Insert the row into the table. Insert the row into the table. Insert into EMP, EMP, and more name salary like this. So let me insert the row. So cannot insert duplicate row into with unique index i3. It is giving the name also, index name, unique index i3. Understood? Blake is already there, but you are trying to insert what duplicates. Okay, na? then. So now, okay, then. Now, suppose here, uh, what are the different ways to what? What are the different methods? Like what are the different methods to enforce uniqueness? Enforce uniqueness. Okay, what are the different methods to enforce uniqueness? Not allowing duplicates. Enforcing uniqueness means not allowing the duplicates. What are the different methods to enforce uniqueness? Okay, one is declared what primary key or what unique constraint. Second one, what create what unique index. So there are two methods in SQL server. There are two methods in SQL server. One method is what declare the primary key unique. Second method is create what sir unique index. So both will not allow what duplicates. Then <clears throat> that's a, there are two methods. Declare the primary key, create unique index. There are two. Next. So <clears throat> then. <clears throat> but and one more point is here. Yeah, we don't need to create index and primary key column. We don't need to create index and primary key column. Primary key columns are automatically indexed by SQL server. When you declare primary key, one index is created automatically. What type of index is created on primary key column? Unique index is created. Unique index does not allow duplicates. That is the reason primary key does not allow duplicates. When you declare a primary key, what happens? A unique index is created. And unique index does not allow duplicates. That is the reason primary key does not allow duplicates. That means how primary key is implemented in SQL? How primary key is implemented in SQL by using unique index. With the help of unique index, 
primary is implemented with the help of unique index. So then <coughs> next primary key what unique. Primary key unique columns are automatically <coughs> indexed by SQL server. Indexed by SQL server. And it creates what? It creates unique index on it creates unique index on what primary key unique columns. Okay, and unique index does not allow duplicates. So primary key also primary key unique also does not allow duplicates. So how primary key is implemented means by using this unique index. <coughs> <coughs> If you want to test, you can test. <clears throat> if you want to test, like check, create one table with primary key, check any indexes created or not. Okay, then. <clears throat> now, one second. For example, drop table what? Customer, drop table customer. So, then create table customer, customer ID, integer, I'm declaring what? Primary key, customer name, where care of 10. So the table is created. Table is created. After creating the table, now next to what? Check index is there. How to see the list of indexes? <clears throat> SP underscore help index. Customer. What this gives? <clears throat> this gives list of indexes created on customer table <clears throat> like let's see one index is created i not created any index i not created any index i not executed any create index command automatically one index is created what is the index name pk customer like and uh, this this index is created on <coughs> this index is created on customer <coughs> id and what type of index it is unique index what type of index unique index and unique index does not allow duplicates so primary key also does not allow duplicates okay then so this is how what like primary key is implemented so whenever you declare a primary key sql server immediately creates unique index so that will not allow the duplicates so primary key is not allows duplicates okay then I'll give that how to see the list of indexes then. Now, <clears throat> next. Can we create unique index on department number? Create unique index I10 on EMP department number. Can we create unique index on department number? Huh? Can we create unique index on department number? No. Because it contains duplicates. Department number column contains what? Duplicates. First employee working for 10, next employee 20, next employee 30, next employee 10, next employee 20. So department number column contains what? Duplicates. If column already contains duplicates, we cannot create what? 
unique index. Unique index should not uh, like doesn't contain what duplicates now. So if column already contain duplicates, you cannot create unique index to create unique index on department member. First you have to remove the duplicates, then create unique index. <coughs> okay. <coughs> then. Okay then. <coughs> now. Next. <coughs> so then. <clears throat> next <clears throat> next one <clears throat> then uh, what the next one is cluster cluster index <clears throat> cluster <clears throat> cluster index then Okay, then <clears throat> cluster index. Uh, <clears throat> so what are cluster index? Okay, then up to now the indexes we created, we have seen three, simple, composite, unit. And the indexes we created, all those indexes are what non-cluster. <clears throat> indexes are what non-cluster. Then, <clears throat> So next uh, cluster, what this is? The difference is, the basic difference between non-cluster and cluster is, a non-cluster index stores pointers to actual record. Lisa, non-cluster index stores what? Pointers means address. Pointers to actual record. Actual record is stored in table. Index contains what? Pointer, address. But a cluster index stores actual record. The actual record is stored in index. Okay, here it doesn't contain the pointer. So index itself contains what complete row. <coughs> Sir, okay now. Index contains what? Complete row. The actual record is stored in index. Understood? Okay, then. That records are stored in the leaf nodes. Clear? Okay, then. So, then. So, that is the difference between what? Cluster and non cluster. That is the main difference between non cluster and cluster. Okay, then. So, then. What is this? Is a non cluster index stores a non cluster. A non cluster index stores pointers to actual record. Okay, it contains addresses. Leaf nodes contains addresses to the actual record where the actual records are stored in the table. A non cluster index stores pointers to actual record, whereas, whereas cluster index stores what? Whereas cluster index stores stores what actually cuts. <clears throat> okay, so this is the main difference. Next, so in non cluster index, okay, in non cluster index, order of the records, order of the records, order of the records in table, and order of the records in index, order of the records in index will not be same. Same will not be same. Order, table order, index order, same not same. Not same. See this one second. One second. So in in table, how the records are arranged? In uh, yesterday's example, we created index on salary. How the records are arranged? Thousand, five thousand, three thousand, two thousand, fifteen hundred, like this. The records order is this. Next, uh, and this is what 
This is index. In index, you see the leaf nodes. What is the order? First thousand, fifteen hundred, two thousand, two thousand five hundred, four thousand, five thousand, like this. Index order, table order is same or not same? Not same. In non-cluster index, but whereas cluster index order is what sir? Same. Order will be same. Okay, then. <coughs> Whereas in cluster index, whereas in cluster index, <coughs> okay, whereas, whereas in cluster index, order will be same. So index order, table order, same. Because your index and table is not separate. Index and table is only one. Index itself storing a complete row. Okay, then. Then let's take example. Example. Let's take example. What I'm doing is I'm creating the table, create table customer. One is customer ID, integer, customer name, where care, care of 10. <laughs> okay, then. So let's see this. Creating the table, create table customer, customer ID, integer, customer name, marker of 10. <coughs> now, <coughs> no. okay, then, now, so after creating the table, okay, after creating the table, next, I create cluster index. After creating the table, I'll create what's the Cluster index. First, I'm dropping the existing customer table. So, table is down put. Now, create the table. So, table is created. After creating the table, create what's the index? Create index. I'm creating the cluster index. Okay, then. <clears throat> so, then. Uh, create what? Create. Create what's the Cluster index. If you want to create cluster index, cluster cluster index item on customer customer ID. So if you one second, one second. If you want to create cluster index, you have to mention cluster. If you don't mention non-cluster, that means what is the default? Default is non-cluster. Default is non-cluster. So if you want to create cluster index, you have to mention cluster. If you don't mention, by default, SQL Server creates non-cluster index. Okay, now what is non-cluster index stores? Pointers to actual liquor. Okay, now I'm creating a cluster index. I'm creating a cluster index on which column? Customer ID. Okay, then now, next. Now let's see. So suppose here, uh, I insert the record. I insert the record. Just I'm inserting a record. One second. Insert into. Just see this first. Insert into customer values. Customer ID. Then suppose what A. Just I'm taking just sample example understanding. So like it is like this. 50, 30. Next. Uh, but suppose, for example, this is 70. Next, so you inserted a record. What is the record you inserted? 10. So what is 10A? Complete row. It will not store address. Okay, now what is stored here? Row. Complete row is stored here. So this is cluster index. Whatever the record you insert, that whole record is stored in index. Next one. Suppose, for example, I'm inserting second record. 
So this is what 80. 80. So customer name is B. When you insert 80, where this 80 is inserted? 80 is compared with what sir? 50. Go to right side. 80 is compared with 70. Go to right side. It is inserted right side. But that is 80 B. Okay. Next one. So next I'm inserting suppose something like 40 or 50 anything 40 C uh, where 40 is compared with what 50 so go to left side and 40 is compared with 30 go to right side 40 C 40 C so it is inserted like this next I insert what's it for example 60 something I insert 60 60 D I'm inserting like this, 60 D 60 compared with what 50 60 compared with 50 then go to right side 50 compared with 70 then go to left side go to left side then 60 is inserted 60 D D is inserted like this understood that okay now so index created like this index is created like this that means the table data is stored in cluster index now table is not separate cluster index is not separate table and cluster index is what one table and cluster index is what sir one okay now so with the data is stored customer data stored in one place what is that is sir earlier earlier bus previous examples in previous examples what table is separate index is separate so table stores complete row index stores what you created index on salary it stores salaries and addresses but now table and index is not separate table and index is only one table and index is only one okay na? so then so because uh, the customer data stored in only one place where it is stored it is stored in cluster index Okay, then <clears throat> clear now. <clears throat> Clear? No. <clears throat> so earlier without cluster index data stored in table. Now with cluster index data stored in index. Customer data stored in index. Okay. Now, so let me create this, then create this table first. Table is created now. Okay. It is already, okay. Table is already created. Create what, sir? 
cluster index. Create cluster index on customer ID. Create cluster index on customer ID. One cluster index is created on customer ID. Uh, next what? Insert the data. You insert the data into table. So when you insert the data into table, this data is inserted into this data is inserted into what? Cluster index. Okay, now then. So this data is inserted into cluster index. Whatever the records you inserted, all these rows are inserted into cluster index. Now, when I run a query, select star from customer table. Actually, when you run select star from table name, how we show the data? Whenever, like forget about this cluster index. When you run a query on table, select star from table. So, how it will show the data? In whichever the order you inserted, in the same order it will show. Whichever the order you inserted, in the same order it will show. So, which order you inserted? First 10, next 80, next 40, next 60 you inserted. But just check whether it will show the in the same order. Understood or not? Okay, now. So, whether it will show the order, same order 10, 80, 40, 60. <clears throat> no. Because, <clears throat> sir, here actually without cluster index means data stored in table. In table, how it is stored the data? According to the, the way in which you insert, the order in which you insert. In whichever the order you insert, in the same order it will store the data in table. But now it is storing the data in cluster index. In cluster index, how it is storing the data? Left to right. Left to right, what's sir? Ascending. Yes and no? Customer ID wise ascending. So when you run this query, select start from customer, SQL server goes to Cluster index, sir. Yet, like that's what your data is not. Data is not there in table. Data is there in only one place. What is that? Is cluster index. So it go to the cluster index and access the data from cluster index. Left to do right. Uh, then first, which record is displayed first? First, it will show 10A. Next, it will show 40C. Next, it will show 60D. Next, it will show 80B. That's all. So that means it goes to the cluster index and access the data from left to right. Okay, then. So your data is not stored in two places. The data is stored in only one place. That is cluster index. When you run the query, you'll get the data like this. Okay, when you run the query, you'll get the data like this. Now check, select star from customer 10, 40, 60, 80. But it's not the order in which you inserted. You ever insert order is different. So this result is different. Yes or no? Understood? Then. <clears throat> now, so th this is how, how it stores cluster index. Okay. Then, <clears throat> ah, now even if you submit what? Select star from what? Select star from customer where customer ID equals to 40 then when you submit select start from customer where customer ID equals to 40 then what it go to index it go to the index uh, what is 40 50 is compared then 40 50 is compared then go to left side left side 30 40 is compared then go to right side 40 is there no? yes so select the record and it doesn't need to go to what's the table earlier after coming to the index after finding the record in index it take the address go to the table get the record from table but now it doesn't need to go to the table why because the complete row stored here the, kind of the index itself storing the complete row so it doesn't need to go to the table so here like uh, how many lookups are required here? In case of non-cluster, in case of non-cluster, how many lookups? In case of non-cluster, how many lookups? Two lookups. First, it has to find the entry in index. After finding the entry in index, take the address, go to table, find the record in the table, go to that address. So how many lookups are required? Two. But in case of cluster index, how many lookups are required? One. 
one lookup. <clears throat> okay, plus here in case of non clustering index, it has to allocate the memory for table, it has to allocate the memory for index. It has to like how many objects there two table plus index table takes memory index also occupies memory but here then what sql server has to allocate the memory only for index only one okay now there it has to allocate the memory for both table and index but here it has to allocate memory only for index it doesn't need to allocate the memory for table and index separately because index itself is storing the complete row understood that and one more thing okay na? one more thing so by default sql server and uh, only one cluster index is allowed per table only only one cluster index is allowed per table okay na? only one cluster index is allowed per table okay then <coughs> ah. Only one cluster index is allowed per table. Okay, then if you create uh, multiple, not possible. Okay, na? then so uh, now what? Sir, what is, what is the problem is like now when you run this query, select start from customer, then it goes to index, cluster index, get the data, display the data. If multiple cluster indexes are there, then there is an ambiguity. So whether it has to go to the first index or second index, or that is the problem. So that is why how many cluster indexes are allowed? Only one. Now, suppose I create, I try to create cluster index. What's that? Some I20 on customer, customer name. So earlier I created cluster index and customer ID. Now I'm creating cluster index and customer name. Let's see. What is this error? What did it saying? Cannot create what more than one cluster index on table customer. What it is saying? Drop existing cluster index before creating the new. So before creating another. So first drop the existing cluster index. Understood? Then <clears throat> now. So one point. What that point is by default, SQL server allows only only one cluster index is allowed per table okay then next so and one more point for this query sql server goes to cluster index and and access the records what left to right okay See, if table contains primary key, cluster index is created. Yeah. Maximum every table contains cluster index. If primary key is there, means cluster index is there. Okay, no? No. <clears throat> so, no. Okay, I'll give that once again. Then, so, now, what are the points here? One point is what? One point is then only what? One cluster index allowed per table. Okay, then only one cluster, cluster index is allowed per table. Next, another point. <clears throat> And, and SQL server creates what? SQL server creates what? Cluster index on primary key column. By default, SQL server creates. Okay, then by default, SQL server creates cluster index on primary key column.
okay by default sql server creates cluster index on primary key call that is the reason okay then <clears throat> Okay, now, now by default, SQL Server creates cluster index on primary key column. Okay, uh, on primary key column, it automatically creates index. Now, what type of index is created is cluster index is created. Now, so then drop table, suppose, say this drop table customer, then create table customer. Customer ID integer what primary key customer name worker of 10. So table is what created. Okay. After creating the table, uh, next uh, what you check index is created or not. How SP help index customer. So what this command gives list of customer indexes created on customer one index is created i not created this index this index is created by sql server what type of index it is cluster unique that means what type of index is created on primary key card then what is your answer clustered unique index is created okay then and that is the reason sir that is the reason in table okay now in table the data automatically organized based on primary key value. The data automatically arranged based on primary key value. Okay, now data automatically sorted based on primary key value. Like one second, I insert insert into customer values, customer ID, what's it? Some 50, suppose A. Okay, then one row inserted. Next one. I'm inserting another one, 10. What is this is B, like one row inserted. Next, I insert what, 60, suppose C, then. I inserted three rows. Okay, now first I inserted 50, next 10, next 60, like this. I inserted three rows. But where these records are stored? Cluster index. Okay, now, now I run the query. What is the query I run? Select start from customer. When I run the query, select start from customer. SQL server goes to cluster index, access the data from left to right. So see the 10, 50, 60. So that means in table, how you see the data? By default, automatically sorted based on primary key value. What is the reason? Because of cluster index. If anyone asks you how in tables in SQL server in tables how the data is automatically arranged based on primary key value answer is what because of cluster index okay then so now suppose like maximum in real time accessing from the tables is based on primary key maximum sir okay now uh, like uh, suppose you go to bank, okay, you want to do anything, like if you want to do some inquiry, then first they'll ask what account number. That means how your details are accessed with account number. So that is account number is what primary key. Okay, now so that means you don't need to create index on account number because account number is what primary key. Account number is primary key. But sometimes what's that? They also access the data by using registered mobile number. Suppose you go to bank, you, you say some customers say, but we don't remember the account number. Then they'll ask, tell me your registered mobile number. So your data is accessed through registered mobile number. So that that that's why what they do, they create index on what mobile number. One index automatically created by SQL server that is on account number. Next to sometimes requirement is what? So they want to access the data through registered mobile number. Then they create index on what? Registered mobile number. What type of index is created on registered mobile number? What type of index is created? Non-cluster, simple index, boss. What type of index is created? Non-cluster, simple index. 
one cluster index is already there in no? account number then they create one non cluster index simple non cluster index on mobile number okay then <clears throat> so <clears throat> now so okay na then one question frequently asked in interviews difference between what's a non cluster and cluster indexes <clears throat> okay then non cluster cluster oh one is what Non-cluster. Oh. Non-cluster index stores what? Pointers to actual records. Cluster index stores what? Actual records. Non-cluster index stores pointers to actual records, whereas cluster index stores what? Actual records. Okay, then next. Yeah, here order of the records in table, order of the records in index SEMA, not SEMA, not SEMA, non cluster. We have seen now, huh? yes, you take salary, then what year we created index on salary. In index, order is this left to right, order is this. But in table order is separate, order is different. So order is same or not same, not same. But here, when it comes to cluster index, when it comes to cluster index, order is what sir? You see the table. If you see the table in which order it will show? Which order it will show? It will show like this 10, 40, 60, 80. Yes or no? In index also it is 10, 40, 60, 80. In table also it will show 10, 40, 60, 80. Order is same or not? Yes, because here index and table is not separate. Index and table is only one. So here, order of the records in here, order of the records and order of the records in table, order of the records in table and order of the records in index. Index may not be same. Okay, then, but here order will be what? The order will be same. Order will be always same. Okay, next. Okay, now then next then this is another difference next and here in case of non cluster to find the record to find the required record desired record you are looking for some record how many lookups are required two one in index one in table so requires what two lookups to find Decide record. Required. Decide means re required. Whatever the record you are required. So then uh, required spot one lookup to find desired record. Okay. Needs one only one lookup. To find desired record needs only one lookup. <clears throat> Huh? Then. So what it needs, needs some extra storage. Needs what sir? Extra storage. Why? So there are two. One is table, one is index. Okay, then index is separate, table is separate. But doesn't need extra storage. 
doesn't need external storage. Okay, then. Then, how many non cluster indexes allowed per table? Okay, no? how many non cluster indexes allowed per table? SQL Server allows, allows 999 non cluster indexes. Indexes per table. How many? 999. And how many cluster indexes allowed per table? Only one cluster index. Only one cluster index allowed per table. Allowed per table. Okay, then. That means total how many indexes allowed per table? Total how many indexes allowed per table? Maximum how many indexes? Thousand. Maximum how many indexes? Thousand. In that thousand, nine ninety nine, non cluster, one cluster. Okay, then. <clears throat> now, and by default, what is created? By default, okay, now, by default, the index is what? Non cluster. If you don't specify anything, by default, it's non cluster. Okay, then. And and always non-cluster indexes created on what? Created on what? Non-primary key columns. Created on what, sir? Non-primary key columns. Okay, other than primary key. Suppose in table, account number is primary key. Then, and phone number is not primary key. So you create index on what? Non-cluster index is created on phone number. And cluster index is created on what? Primary key column by SQL server. Okay, now then SQL server implicitly creates implicitly creates cluster index cluster index on cluster index on primary key column. Okay. So non-cluster index you have to explicitly create. Okay, then. Understood <clears throat> now? So that's all. These are the what differences between non cluster and cluster indexes. Okay. Next, how to see the list of indexes? How to see the list of indexes? List of indexes. Then you have to give like this sp underscore help index. Next. You have to pass what table name. You have to pass table name. Then you have to pass table name. <clears throat> okay, now then SP help index table name. Okay, now then. Uh, example what sp underscore help what index emp or customer whatever so it will show the list of indexes created on what emp table it will show the list of indexes created on emp table then so now <clears throat> Uh, if you want, you can see what is SP help what index EMP. Then, now, 
so it will show i1 i3 something okay na so it is created on what sir salary it is created on what e name like that okay then this is uh, what to see the list of indexes and it will show the type also i1 is non clustered i3 is what cluster non clustered both are non clustered understood then so next how to drop index okay dropping index dropping index drop index index name i1 drop index index name i1 then drop index index name okay then ah uh, index i1 is what drop okay index i1 is drop then drop index i1 index i1 then so but if you say like this then you have to say like this emp dot i1 so this you have to access with table name okay na? then you have to say drop index what sorry table name emp dot i1 you have to access with table name okay na? then so now <clears throat> ah next so suppose here then if you drop table suppose if we drop table if we drop table what about index is created on table if we drop table what about index is created on table if we drop the table what about index is created on table index is are also what drop if table is removed index is are also removed <clears throat> okay if you drop the table whatever index is created on the table are also drop sir actually see like this what there is a what server inside the server you create what database inside the database you create what tables tables what views you created views and you created what synonyms you created what sequences next so what comes under the table is table contains what rows and columns table contains what constraints table contains what indexes table contains what triggers you don't know triggers you'll be knowing this in the programming part next in programming part there is a called procedures functions like this so these are the different database objects okay sir here you don't need to remember if i drop the table what are drop out what are not drop out then you remember this hierarchy if table is drop out then all these are drop rows and columns are drop out constraints are drop out indexes are drop out triggers are drop out but if i drop the table views are not drop out synonyms are not drop out sequences are not drop out okay then understood then <clears throat> that's all so with this uh, okay then this sql part is completed next we'll see program tsql programming we'll start from monday
అది కంపల్సరీ ఉండాలి కానీ ఆ కాలం ఉండాలి లీడింగ్ కాలం అయితే ఉండాలి లీడింగ్ కాలం ఉంటే వర్క్ అవుతుంది మిగతా ఏదైనా ఉండొచ్చు ఉండొచ్చు ఉండకపోవచ్చు అప్పుడు ఇండెక్స్ యూజ్ చేస్తారు ఓకే లీడింగ్ కాలం అయితే ఉండాలి లీడింగ్ కాలం లేకపోతే ఇండెక్స్ యూజ్ చేయాలి ఆల్ఫాబెటికల్ ఆర్డర్ అంతే ఆల్ఫాబెటికల్ ఆర్డర్ కేకిల్ ఎస్ ఏ టు జెడ్ ఏ టు జెడ్ ఆస్కి ఆస్కి వాల్యూస్ అనేది డిపెండ్ అవుతుంది అదే ఒకటి అట్లా తీసుకున్నాం ఓకేనా 